Hello everyone, this is May and I am the person behind Motivation Link channel. For today's video, we are going to reveal to you the process behind every Motivation Link content. A lot of people would say, eh, that's just three to four minute devotional or motivational videos. It can be done fast and easy. Well, let us see if it does. Every content motivation link shared to you, our dearest followers, are done with mind and heart. You deserve a well done and quality output that's our goal is to provide you one. There are still a lot of rooms for improvement, but here's our steps. First off is the research. We search for quality devotional and motivational stories around, which could impart an important life's lesson to all. Next step would be the recording. The voice of devotional video is different from the voice of motivational video. Devotional video must be sweet, soft, and slow, while motivational video must be tougher and faster. All this are done by one person, the channel creator. Recording will take not just one, not just two, but three or four times repetitions until the right voice and tone is achieved. After recording, the audio will be transcribed to text ready for captioning later. When the right audio recording has been produced, trimming and editing will come next. Removing all those unnecessary part of the raw audio file and creating some spacing must be done. There should be around 5 to 10 second spacing in certain parts of the speech in order for it to sound natural. Also, there are repetitions there. English is not our first language, thus it is inevitable to make mistakes on pronunciation or intonation. So sometimes we need to narrate the lines again and again to get the correct output. And we have to trim those duplicated parts until only around 4 minutes of audio is left. This part takes a lot of time. You have to listen, then go back and trim the unnecessary part, then listen to it again and repeat the process until you get to the end. That consumes a lot of time and patience, mind you. When the trimming is satisfactorily done, here comes the call to action. This is the part at the end that invites you to comment down below your thoughts about the story. We added this to put personal touch in our videos and invites you to be part of the content. Please don't forget to leave us likes and comments in our videos. We also add the intro and outro clips that, that has already been pre-made for uniformity. The basic output of the content is already done by this time. It is time to add the music and the video backgrounds. We pre-search for non-copyright music and video background to come with our output. We can choose a theme like flowers, sunsets, beach, and others. The goal is to add calming background for a better meditation and concentration. We also add more call to action stickers like subscribe and leaving a comment invitation to help ignite interest in our viewers to engage. We will always value those engagement you do for us. The captioning follows. Sam says, why do you need to put permanent captions when YouTube's caption feature is there? Well, this makes the video uniquely ours. Though we use Creative Commons license, but with permanent captions, it somehow marks it as our own work. Captioning is the most tedious part of our content creation, I think. This is also the part where it takes too much time and effort. First off, we transcribe our audio to text using app like TurboScribe so it will be easy to do the captioning. We just have to copy and paste the lines rather than typing it that would eat more time. Yet, the going back and forth to hit the correct timing of the caption to the audio file is where it takes more effort, time, and patience. Everything is done. Time to rewatch the finished product. 
if there are more things to correct, we do our final edits here. The first output is for YouTube, so it's time to export the file in a rectangular size. Right after exporting for YouTube file, we have to transform the whole content into portrait setting for IG Reels and YouTube Stories. Each of the visual background will be changed to fit on the desired size. A little change is needed on the caption setting as well. In Viola, we have a portrait output ready for export. The exported file will then be chopped into one minute or less length video so we can produce four to five shorts. Time to schedule the post through buffer up. Buffer is an old scheduler, but we still like the simplicity of it. We schedule the long form portrait size to TikTok at 6 p.m. Then we spread out the one minute shorts throughout the day to IG Reels and YouTube Shorts. We create quality thumbnail for each content. We conceptualize how it should be done. We do the designing using the same app, which is Wondershare Filmora 13. When the right design and branding is complete, we screenshot it for the final thumbnail file. The main goal is for it to be readable and clickable. Once the video is already good, it is time to also schedule it to be published in YouTube. We add the descriptions, some organic invitations, metadata, and all that is needed for a YouTube content to be published. We can only publish it once, so make the most out of it now. We hope that we had imparted to you our simple and heartfelt process of all our contents that we put out there. It takes hours of effort and determination to create a quality video for you because you deserve it. So, comment down below your thoughts about this process. We will always appreciate any comments, suggestions, and everything you can contribute to this channel to grow better. Stay motivated, everyone. God bless.